Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to simplify cube roots two different ways. Both ways are very similar and do the exact same thing, but they are slightly different approaches. We're going to take a look at the same cube roots and simplify them using both methods. We're going to start by looking for factors that are perfect cubes and then take a look at using prime factorization. Let's jump into number one where we have the cube root of 48. Now 48 is not a perfect cube, so we're not going to get a nice clean cut whole number for our answer, but we can simplify this cube root. We can break it down, so to speak. We're going to do this by looking for factors of 48 that are perfect cubes and then find their cube root. We will then pull that cube root out. Now to the right, I have the first 10 perfect cubes. Knowing and being familiar with these, or as many of these as you can, will make simplifying cube roots and working with cube roots in general much easier. So are any of the first 10 perfect cubes a factor of 48? Yes, eight is a factor of 48. We know that eight times six equals 48. Eight and six are factors of 48. They go into 48, so to speak. So let's rewrite the cube root of 48 as the cube root of eight times six. Now the multiplication or product property of cube roots lets us split this into the cube root of eight times the cube root of six, meaning we have the cube root of eight times the cube root of six. This is still equivalent to the cube root of 48. We're not changing the value of anything at all. Now we can take the cube root of eight, which is two. Two times two times two equals eight. So again, the cube root of eight is two. So we end up with two times the cube root of six. And that's our final simplified answer. We can't simplify or break this down any further. So again, our final simplified answer, two times the cube root of six. Let's move on to number two, where we have the cube root of 250. 250 is not a perfect cube, but we can simplify. We need to look for factors of 250 that are perfect cubes. Well, 125 times two equals 250, and 125 is a perfect cube. Since there's a factor of 250 that's a perfect cube, we can simplify. We can rewrite this as the cube root of 125 times two. Now let's split this into the cube root of 125 times the cube root of two. Now we can take the cube root of 125, which is five. Five times five times five equals 125. Again, the cube root of 125 is five. So this is going to equal five times the cube root of two. And that's our final simplified answer, five times the cube root of two. We cannot simplify or break that down any further. So there's how to simplify a cube root by looking for factors that are perfect cubes. Let's move on to simplifying cube roots using prime factorization. Here are our examples, and these are the same exact ones we just did, but let's take a look at a different approach. Let's jump into number one, where we have the cube root of 48. We're going to do this by using the prime factorization of 48 to pull out any cube roots of perfect cubes. So let's start with the prime factorization of 48. We need to break this down until we only have prime factors. 
Now there are different paths to take in order to get to the prime factors, but in the end, no matter what path you take, you'll get to the same prime factors. So something to keep in mind. Let's come to the side here and take a look at the prime factorization of 48. I'm going to start with the factors of 2 and 24. Now 2 is prime, so we are done over there, and we can continue to break 24 down. Let's use the factors of 2 and 12. 2 is prime, so we are done there, but we can break 12 down. Let's use the factors of 2 and 6. 2 is prime, so we are done there, but we can break 6 down. Let's use the factors of 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are both prime, so we are done. That's the prime factorization of 48. Now that we have the prime factorization of 48, we can rewrite the cube root of 48 with these factors. We can rewrite this as the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. This is still equivalent to 48, so we're not changing the value of anything. Now we need to find prime factors in groups of three. We have a group of three twos right here. That represents a perfect cube that we can pull out. Two times two times two equals eight, and the cube root of eight is two. So let's pull out a two. So this is going to equal two times the cube root of 2 times 3. We still have that 2 times 3 under the cube root symbol. We cannot simplify any further, so let's multiply. We have 2 times 3, which equals 6. So we end up with 2 times the cube root of 6. And that's our final simplified answer. 2 times the cube root of 6. Let's move on to number 2, where we have the cube root of 250. 250 is not a perfect cube, so let's simplify this cube root. We will start with the prime factorization of 250. Let's come to the side and take a look at the prime factorization of 250. I'm going to start with the factors of 2 and 125. 2 is prime, so we are done there. 125, we can break that down. Let's use the factors of 5 and 25. 5 is prime, so this is done. But 25, we can break down. Let's use the factors of 5 and 5. 5 is prime, so we are done. That's the prime factorization of 250. So we can rewrite the cube root of 250 as 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. Now we need to look for any prime factors in a group of 3. Well, we have 3 fives right here. So we have a group of 3 fives. That represents a perfect cube that we can pull out. 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125, and the cube root of 125 is 5. We can pull out a 5, so we now have 5 times the cube root of 2. We cannot break that down any further. We cannot simplify any further, so this is our final simplified answer. 5 times the cube root of 2. So there you have it. There are two different approaches to simplifying cube roots. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.